Oh, it's a truck where we want to go fly the kite once. Oh. Okay. Something, something's not right. I mean, are you wearing two shoes? Ah. Ah. Reggie! That's right, because I can just, just hop, just keep hopping, yep. Ah, you can't go too far. It's not like raptors are fast or anything. Oh, jumping, 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 jumping. I was school hopping champion. Oh, Reggie, it wasn't even funny the first six times. Oh, I could just jump. Right, I'm sure I can reach it. Just do a couple of big jumps. Oh, no. Just need longer arms. I wonder if they'll grow. Giant new genius. No, nope, I'll get back and take out the work this out. I'm Red Randy, and welcome to Weird Creatures. When a lot of people think about dinosaurs, they often think of little arms. I mean, there's like a million small arm jokes out there. Well, today I want to talk about another kind of dinosaur. And this one had gigantic arms. The year was 1965, and in the Mongolian desert, paleontologists found a mysterious pair of giant arms. These limbs became the holotype for the creature Dinochirus, whose name means horrible hands in Greek. Nothing more was discovered about this creature for over a half a century, until 2014 when two more complete skeletons were found. This dinosaur turned out to be even weirder than people first imagined. With arms measuring a massive 2.4 meters and a spinosaur type sail, this creature is the largest anethomimosaur discovered. It measures 11 meters and weighed in a massive 6 tons, dwarfing its cousin the Gallimimus. It was a strange looking dinosaur, it was also found to have pretty weird eating habits now, fossils were found with gastrolips inside, which are like the small little pebbles that were swallowed by big herbivorous dinosaurs to help them digest all the plants they'd eaten. Alongside plants, though, the Dinochirus was also found to eat fish, making it an omnivore. Quite how it caught the fish without teeth is just another thing, perhaps they used their big hand. No one knows why they had such big hands. One theory is, though, that they'd use their blunt claws for digging out vegetation and stuff, similar to an iguanodon. If I had arms that long, I'd have no problem getting my shoe back. Perhaps I can find a Dinochirus. Maybe I'll just use a stick. Genius. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Until next time, stay weird.